Welcome to the New Year Hornets and this new edition of SHS Today. First up, Aiden Sutherland catches up with the Celine alumni, Dominic Dorsett. Cadence Waldrop asks students about their New Year's resolutions with this new segment of In the Halls. Finally, Ep Below brings us behind the scenes with video news production. All of this and more on this January 10th episode of SHS Today. Welcome back, Celine. We hope you had a well-rested break. And welcome to the official first SHS Today episode of 2024. I'm Faith Pearson. And I'm Jack Rolandi. Although we've just arrived in the new year, we still have plenty of news to catch up on. So let's get into it. Back before break, the connecting classes went on their annual holiday shopping trip. On this trip, high schoolers are paired with students with disabilities to check items off of their holiday shopping list. This looks like it was a fantastic experience, and I bet many great memories were made. If this is something that interests you, you can speak to your counselor about joining a connecting class. The connecting class is just one great example of how the actions you take in high school can lead to skills and memories that last a lifetime. Another example of this are the recent successes of former student Dominic Dorsett, who was a big part of the theater department when he was in high school. He is now playing the role of Kristoff in Frozen the Musical on Broadway. And he recently came back home and did a questionnaire with the drama club, letting us know how he got to where he is. My co-anchor over here joins Aiden Sutherland to give us an inside look at what that event was like. Could you imagine being on this stage during a show? Performing in front of hundreds of people is an accomplishment in itself. Yet when students consider what comes next, students often talk about what they would like to do rather than what they will do. The reason for this is quite simple. It can be really difficult. However, it is portrayed as impossible. And if it was impossible, people like Dominic Dorsett wouldn't be where they are. I, I went to the University of Michigan and I was, um, I was blessed to be welcome to the musical theater program that they had there. I'm performing at the Detroit Opera House right now, which is where I grew up going to see all the shows. So when I was seven, I went to see The Lion King there. So to be on the other side of that stage now and be the one to perform for the audiences has been surreal. It's been amazing. I, I love getting to talk to people who are aspiring artists because that was me not that long ago. I think he has a lot of good things to say about being a well-rounded person, going out and being curious and exploring and learning new things and being around different people. It's gonna take hard work and dedication. Um, the biggest piece of advice that I always tell people is that don't be afraid to make mistakes. Get to where you're going unless you're gonna mess up along the way. And if you're afraid to mess up and if you're afraid to take risks, then that's only gonna hinder you. All of that informs what you do as a performer. I would say uh, go out there, be unapologetic about it, mess up, mess up and then learn from the mistakes. Dominic Dorsett has proven that through hard work and dedication, anyone can be the next legend of Celine, no matter what interest they choose to pursue. Reporting for SHS Today, I'm Aiden Sutherland. Back to the studio. Frozen the Musical is currently on tour and performing in Washington, D.C. The tour will continue until September 1st. Dominic shows that to succeed, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication, but at the end of the day, anything is possible. On the note of hard work and dedication, it's also important to rest. Although we had some over winter break, you can never get enough, which is why the school has been nice enough to give us an early release day this Friday and no school on Monday for MLK Day. Enjoy your long weekend, Hornets. I know so many people who travel during their two weeks off. What did you do for winter break, Faith? I didn't go on any big trips. I mostly just enjoyed time with those that I love. However, it's time to forget about what I did and focus on the things I'm going to do. We're still fresh into the new year, and the students of Celine have plenty of things they hope to do in 2024. Cadence Waldrop takes us in the halls to find out what these resolutions are. Welcome to the New Year Hornets. With the new year underway, we check in with students at Celine to see what their New Year's resolutions are in this edition of In the Halls. So what's your New Year's resolution this year? Probably to keep my room more clean and to get better grades. Um, I'd say to eat healthier a little bit, just so I can stay like on top of my game. My New Year's resolution would be to kind of get outside more. I think just to be more focused on my schoolwork and to uh, 
get things done more diligently. To graduate? Mine is to graduate too and be happy. My New Year's resolution is to work on my health and get fit. What's your New Year's resolution this year? That's a great one. My New Year's resolution this year is to eat lots of good food because I really like food. This year? Um, I want to read more books. I want to get way better at drumming. It's great to see what students strive to achieve in the new year. I can't wait to see if they actually follow through with it. Reporting from SHS Today, I'm Cadence Waldrop. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Cadence, for that look at how students are feeling about the new year. Some of my resolutions are to eat healthier and maybe travel a bit. My resolutions are, well, I don't really think it matters because I forgot my resolutions last year and I'm probably going to forget them again this year. Maybe next year I'll make a resolution for a better memory. Ah yes, a resolution to have a resolution next year. Love it. Another New Year's resolution could be to learn a new skill. The SWWC classes have a wide range of different opportunities for you. The sign up for these classes is open now. Scan the QR code on screen or go to the SWWC website to apply. If you're already in an SWWC class and want to continue next year, you still have to reapply. You'll never know how many experiences you can get in an SWWC class until you're in one yourself. It's been brought to our attention that some people often wonder what goes into creating our show. To you viewers, every Wednesday you watch our final product, but not everyone knows all the effort that goes into making it. Each week we only have eight days to create an entire show. One of our students, F. Belot, has created a behind the scenes so that you can see what goes into creating the shows you watch every week. You ready? I think so, yeah. For the past 15 years, stories from around our community and within our school have been shared on this show. And those students have seen the show, they have yet to see what happens behind the scenes. So video news production is a full year class and the learning process that we use is in the first six to eight weeks or so, we are introducing all of the different processes that we learn in video. So we're teaching things like editing, camera work, and how to use the cameras, how to get them set up. We're doing all of the things necessary to build skills to be able to make our show in the end. There are many things that go into the production of SHS Today. So in SHS Today, we produce news packages. They're essentially a one to two minute um, segment on different things going on in the school, in the district, or in the community. We have staggering production weeks for each team. Each team is able to produce a show, so Wednesday through the next Friday, they have a whole week of production where they're making their package, they're getting their interviews, and then afterwards we have a rehearsal date and a show date, and then the actual show goes out. A lot of thought and care go into each episode of SHS Today. But not all of these students want to pursue video. I have students that want to go into film and broadcast and they're in the right spot. But then I also have students, for example, that want to go into like political science and they want to be engineers and they want to do all sorts of different careers. But there's so many skills that we need to have in our general lives that are really required in order to be able to produce a show that it's a win-win for students that want to do other things besides video. But regardless of what path these students decide to take, they will continue to share the stories from around the community and within our school. And that has been our scoop on the behind the scenes of SHS Today. I'm Ev Below. back to you in the studio. As you can see, the skills learned in an SWWC class are extremely helpful and can last a lifetime. I can't wait to see what our dedicated and hardworking consortium students accomplish in the future. Thanks again, Ev, for going behind the scenes and giving viewers a new perspective. On that note, we truly hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Faith Pearson. And I'm Jack Orlandi. Be sure to follow at Celine Video on Instagram and YouTube for show updates and some more behind the scenes content. Tune in next week for a teacher feature, a spotlight on the mural paintings, and an inside look at the Culinary Skills USA competition. And once again, Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year Hornets! Hornets.